Welcome back everybody. Sorry we've been missing for a little bit. We've been really busy building this van for Christian. Um, and also if you've been following us on Instagram, we've been also starting up our business and training our little kitty cat, Axel, to become to be an, an adventure, adventure kitty, kitty. Uh, for our upcoming <laughs> summer trip up, up to Canada. Also we wanted to thank you for your support with YouTube videos because we're almost up to a thousand of subscribers. <laughs> Yes. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do be because awesome. it helps others to see all these videos. Also hit and, the like button too. And leave leave us some comments too. Yeah, that's always fun too. We like um, responding to those. Anyway, this episode is about electrical. That's what we're going to show you. And a lot of people are really um, kind of scared of it. So, But we're going to break it down it's to scary. you guys. And it's super, it's actually easy. Yeah. Once you once just you understand the it. black goes with black, red goes with red. <laughs> and just don't make it like bzzz. You don't want to touch the two together. Yeah, that's not <laughs> not good. Today we're talking about electrical, but I have to show you guys this awesome cabinet that Brett Bill actually holds all of our electrical in one small space. This is where Christian's kitchen is gonna be. Um, we will talk about this whole setup in the next episode so make sure to subscribe and hit that bell button so you get the notification this is pretty cool but um brett will walk you through the setup two main electrical systems. You're going to have a 12 volt, which is DC, um, direct current, basically coming straight from the battery. And then you're going to have also AC, which is 120 volts, um, which is going to be going through a inverter to basically amplify everything. DC is really direct current, and that's something that uses a battery, the fan, the lights, of being powered through that actually the fridge is going to be going through direct current as well and that's low voltage it's 12 volts and it's it's just really taking the charge directly from the battery without converting it into anything it's just taking that charge and putting it into the um the light or the fridge and then there is alternating current which is ac uh what you see in the, in the houses and that is a little bit more challenging to set up because you do need to have an inverter which will convert that power from 12 volt system into 120 volt uh, or even higher um, and that is something that will power up all your appliances so you can charge a laptop or um, turn on the blender or um, use instant pot and things like that this is the brains behind the whole operation here so our electrical compartments. I'll give you guys a quick rundown of everything that's in here. We have our solar charger. This is a 40 amp MPPT by Renogy. And that is connected to our two solar panels up on the roof here. And they're going down to our two batteries by Battleborn and they are 100 amp hours each. They're lithium batteries and they're 12 volt and they're together in parallel to give us 200 amp hours, plenty of power. And we have our little fuse block here. We have a 12 channel one that's gonna go out to our DC setup. So the lights, fridge, water pump, things like that. We have a little switch for our DC to quickly turn them off if we need to. And also our 3000 watt inverter by Renogy. And this also has a output uh, for outlets that we're gonna run throughout the van as well. The reason why we put it in the kitchen is we want it to purposefully keep it away from 
um, the sleeping area because of the electromagnetic fields and you guys can do research I can talk a little bit more in the future episodes about uh, the effects of EMF on the body and also living and but you should definitely be aware of it in the tiny space. If you guys been following along in the last episode we installed the two panels up on the roof. They are Renogy panels and they're 12 volts 160 watts each and we have a cord going down into our electrical cabinets here. A couple maintaining tips for the solar panels. You want to make sure that you keep them clean periodically. Just kind of climb up there and wipe it down with a wet rag just so you get the maximum solar power so they could charge your batteries. Before I started building the structures, the walls, um, and the cabinets and everything, I started running the wiring. Um, now, for example, this is the 12 volt wiring. There's a couple different types. This is one of my favorites because it actually comes in a uh, protective layer and then it has the red and the black separated, which is very convenient once you get to the location. Um, so, for example, this is actually an upper cabinet light switch. Um, so, it's going to go to the switch and then up to these two lights here up in the cabinet. Um, there's a couple different types of wiring, and for 12 volt, you're going to usually use a low voltage uh, braided um, copper wire. So it usually has like, it's not solid, it just kind of has a bunch of these little braids here. And that's going to be a really good current for mostly 12 volt systems. The other type of wiring is a solid copper. And uh, so there's different gauges in this one, and there's a lot of calculators online. There's also, if you go to Home Depot, there's a chart and everything when you're picking out your wiring. Um, that you're going to want to find the appropriate gauge thickness of the copper wiring for example how many watts that appliance is actually going to use. Uh, so for the fridge I went with a solid gauge wiring. This is a 14 gauge. This is basically what you find in any home appliance. <music> Super quick on the batteries, there's many different types out there. Um, we've had experience with AGM and lithium, and so far lithium has been amazing. Uh, but if you are on a budget, AGM would probably be the next best bet. Uh, it doesn't offset any gases, uh, you don't have to worry about like the refilling. It doesn't have the best battery life and longevity, so it'll probably last you maybe about two to five years depending on your usage. Lithium. You get about 2,000 charges with these, and they obviously have no offset gases. They're solid, they're super light, and they're a lot smaller than AGM batteries, um, but they are pretty expensive. Cheers guys, thank you so much for watching. In the next episode, we'll be talking about these awesome benches that we're sitting on. Uh, we'll be beginning framing up the walls and working on some cabinets. Hey honey, Yeah. where are you? What's going oh, on? I can't see anything. Powerful. Do we have any light? It's... <laughs> that was it. Wasn't the last match? That was the last one. But Wait a second. We have...